it has definitely been a while since I've made one of these videos. Um, yeah. What's going on everyone? This is Andrew here. Um, as you can see by the title, I stopped playing Airsoft. Um, this video isn't really meant to be like a sad, uh, Airsoft sucks kind of like a bash, like sad video. No, it's, um, it's really just kind of like an honest opinion. Just, I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts of um, quitting or taking a break. I just wanted to share my opinion with the community. And yeah, just for the record, I still have my airsoft gear. I still think airsoft is an amazing sport. I just personally felt like it was my time to like, at least take a step back, stop permanently, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So without further ado, let's jump right into the reasons why I stopped playing Airsoft. I also apologize for the poor audio quality. I'm missing my cable for my microphone. I've noticed that a lot of my stuff is breaking or going missing whenever they leave my hands. Um, that's a whole nother video to itself. Time and money. Those are basically the most basic reasons why I stopped playing. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm a film student, uh, college student, student, it, you, you get the point. Like, um, it's pretty self-explanatory as I've said. It's, um, there's just no time. I gotta invest into other things. I gotta feed myself out here in college, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So apparently there is some, like, cheating happening around local fields, like, a bit more often nowadays. Um, don't get me wrong, these are great local fields. Uh, I guess just people are becoming really more toxic. Um, and it's, it's tragic if you think about it. But um, I personally never had that experience, but I really don't feel like going through that experience. At least right now, I have other things to just take care of. I think you know what I'm saying. Why go through something you don't have to go through? So, yeah. Just constantly, constantly hearing about these stories too from other players uh, just becomes very irritating and I don't feel like dealing with that either. So I'm, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why I stopped playing Airsoft and it's that Airsoft, it's a hobby. It should be fun, you should be enjoying it, you shouldn't feel pressured. It's something where you should do whatever the hell you want. It's not a code of life, unless if you are praising Judy. But you get the point. I've come to the point where I've noticed that experienced players are kind of pressuring, not as experienced players or beginners, to where like you have to do this, you have to buy that, you have to use this thing. I, I really didn't feel like dealing with it. I'm just gonna make a quick disclaimer here. I'm not an airsoft expert, I just played the game, I try to have fun, I technically played for 8 years if you had springers, but actual like legitimate field play, I've only played for 2 years, ish, I think I honestly don't even know at this point. What I am trying to say here is that I've used some pretty well upgraded or just high tier guns, and they, they are great, for sure. They shoot perfectly fine, and you can have a lot of fun with them. But I could have the same amount of fun with a $100 like Lancer Tactical Gen 2 M4 or whatever it's called. It's only like $100. I could have the same fun with that gun because it gets the BB from me to my opponent. There might be a curve in it, might go down and up, the range might not be as good, but I, I, I adapt to that and you could have the same amount of fun with that. Sure, it could break easily. Generally, cheap guns will break on you, but I only play like four times a year, so it really doesn't matter if it breaks after four games because if that's the case, I would have last an entire year with a $100 gun, and that would have saved me a couple hundred dollars if I were to buy like a Crytek CRV. Like you get, you like, you know what I'm saying? Like I only play so much where I need like actual legitimate good gear. Like 90% of my gear is just knockoff Amazon products. Like it works great. Like it works fine. I've never honestly had like a terrible experience with because of gear. No, it, it, everything worked out. I slowly build up and I have I, I have my own setup that works for me. I don't want to feel pressured where I have to buy like some cry pre whatever precision, whatever it's called, like BDU set. Like it's, it's to me, that's unnecessary. If, if that works for you, if you can afford it, go ahead. But 
some people it just it, it's not worth it like i i only play so often like you get the point like eh, yeah now do not get me wrong i love airsoft it's a great hobby it just I just wanted to stop before it got any worse for me personally. I I would like to leave it as a good memory than a toxic experience. I mean, I have met a lot of great people through Airsoft. I've even had people who came up to me for, because they recognized the videos, which is honestly spectacularly awesome. Like, dang, that just boosted my ego. Only 200 subscribers and you have people who notice you. Oh, yeah, you get the point. So those are the reasons why I stopped playing Airsoft. Um, it's still a great sport. Uh, if you want to get into it, by all means, go for it. I just personally, I personally just want to stop for now, at least. I still own all my airsoft gear. Uh, I could still use it for films. So I mean, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any thoughts regarding airsoft, I mean, I'd love to know your opinions. From now on, I will stop saying whatever every YouTuber says at the end of the video. Like it's.